People are talking a lot about silicone implants today, from Capitol Hill to Facebook, to social media, to news reports. We're truly in the midst of an important public discussion about patient safety and the role of breast implants. With nearly 400,000 breast surgeries using silicone implants done every year in the United States, we in plastic surgery welcome this conversation because after all, we are physicians first before we're plastic surgeons. Patient safety is always our main goal. A new hot topic reviewed the latest scientific evidence on silicone implants. Here's what the science says. At this time, there is no data to support any connection between breast implants and an increased risk of cancers, neurologic diseases, or negative effects on children. Number two, recent reporting does suggest a link between textured implants and an extremely rare but serious type of lymphoma called ALCL. Our scientific community has rallied around investigating and solving this concerning development. To date, there is also no specific concrete peer-reviewed science concerning the formation of a new syndrome called silicone implant illness. In short, there is overwhelming evidence to date that silicone implant use, both in reconstructive and cosmetic surgery, is safe. The authors of this study encourage more and more research on the study of silicone implants because there are so many new things happening from cancer detection to the role of autoimmune diseases. We need more studies, more science to expand patient safety, awareness, and education. Ultimately, the decision to get, keep, and remove implants lies with each patient and always will. Any of these procedures should be guided and performed by a board-certified plastic surgeon with expertise in breast surgery. So to find a board-certified surgeon in your area, please contact plasticsurgery.org.